Hi guys, Mr. Jaeger here, and welcome back to The Front. In the last episode, we did a bunch of things. We had a pretty hairy and somewhat disastrous battle defensively in the flooded fields. But now, but then we had an amazing battle following that, a little bit longer than usual, where we were able to build the little David. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this thing is ridiculous. The Little David is kind of scary with how much uh, it, it does stuff. So, yeah, definitely uh, a, a good, a worthwhile investment. Expensive, but worthwhile. Anyway, so we are back and we are defending on a two-star the territory of Utah Beach, which is exciting. He says, optimism ever flowing. But we do have research, and I'm going to go with the large defense. Normally, I would be more tempted for other things, but I am going to go with the large defense. Because it's been a while since we've done any major defensive actions, like uh, uh, updates. So the least I want to do is get that sorted. We're also going to bring in some much-needed support, though to be fair, I'm going to use that sparingly. Because it is a kind of expensive to use the air support options and everything else. So we will see how things fare. But still, hopefully, hopefully, good things will occur. Anyway. So. Let's get this sorted. Yeah, that's all good to go. So I will see you guys when we hit the beaches. Or go to defend said beaches. And we're back. So, let's see what the triple hard tier defenses are like. So, we've got, finger quote, large defenses, which kind of just seems like we have additional dudes, which I'm not complaining. That's quite a lot of defenses. I'm just kind of surprised. Right, so, yes, you, I'll pop you, I'll fight you on the beaches, yes. Haha, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> We shall fight on the landing grounds <laughs> in fields, in the street. Where is it? In the streets and over the hills. <laughs> oh, God. Oi! Yes, Get the fuck in there! Oh, wait. Hi, sir. Wait, have I sent the empty one off? No, there's two. Any orders, sir? Right. Do I have a uh, half track? No, I don't. Right. Send your shit across, but probably a good idea to send it also across the line. Ready to go, sir. Infantry set up defenses over yonder. Do, 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 do. Right. So if memory serves correctly, we need to make sure... Okay, so it's quite a wide front, sadly, which is not going to be fun. But we need to make sure that we have at least one AA vehicle in a reasonable location, i.e. somewhere behind the lines a bit. But in a position to still, like, shoot the shit down. Right. Easy 8. Make your way to the right. Uh, ammo truck, I want you... here. We'll deploy the artillery to cover the approaches. Armor ready. Do, 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 do. If I get on the army, I'm toy for sleep. I'm sure it's I'm for Always ready. Yeah, like this for me. Yeah, pies and not all a whole bun. Uh-huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, move some of the guys across. We'll use the half track as a sort of defensive machine gun emplacement. I can't imagine we're going to get a huge. Ah, this is the command, Vic. Right, so, not a bad idea, but probably a better idea for you just to be chilling over there. And, yeah, it's fine. Sir, yes, sir. Ready, 
sir. Yes, sir. Right, MG thirteen, make your way across yonder. Actually, right take sir. that with you. Just so that way we've got some additional machine. Yes, because that's an intelligent location to plonk yourself. Obviously. Yes, right, MG. Make your way across the far side. Sanitator. Make your way inside. Infantry or armor. Easy 8. Make your way across towards that. It's a shame we can't use the AT guns. That would be cool. Right, I'm going to have you boys, or you, adjust and make some trenches over to there. I'll have you, in addition to these guys, set up defenses. Ground Vic, make your way across there. How are you doing? Ah, good. Uh, you probably want to put something like a trench here. And some of you will need to set up accordingly. Kind of want to set up around here ish, don't you? Standing by. Um, given your propensity for surviving shit, I'm going to put you in the bunker. Armor ready. <laughs> Ends up getting killed in the bunker. <laughs> oh, God. Right, easy eights. Oh, sorry, uh, M Hellcats. Yeah, that's not the place I really want you to be. <laughs> Pointless trying to do anything. Right. Right. Tanks will take a defensive position slightly in here. Right. I think it's possibly a safe idea for you to dig a tank trench over there. Orders, sir. Yep. I want you, because that's a 30 cal, I want you to establish a machine gun here. And I'll wait until... Ready, sir. Oh, you're almost done, aren't you? Your command, sir. That's fine. Ready to go, sir. Move to support. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, fantastic. Right, okay. You boys take cover to there. And you, my dear fellow, shall take cover in the trench. Well, you can go take cover in the form of making a tank trench. There we go. If you want to just take cover in there, and then we'll get the necessary vehicles. Right. 105. Easy 8. 105. 90 mil, 90 mil. Easy 8. Yeah, so uh, 105 on this side should be good. Right, Ground Vic, you may take cover inside the bunker with the Lieutenant. Stanley Tater. Make your way across to there. You're over there. You're over there. Ground Vic. You want to take cover into that position. Right. Howie, I need you to probably put yourself in a slightly better position. Uh, infantry Geschutzen. There you go. Wonderful. And Panzer. Start digging. Yes, sir. Right. Oop. Here they come. Yes, Cross the whole bloody line. Ready to roll. Pop your artillery over there. You probably want to be in a more flat location. Ready, 
Right. Almost in position. Here they come. Still using the GTRS. Uh, is there a reason why that tank just decided to appear and rubber band its way back there? Okay, weird. Okay, contact has been made. We're already 300 points up. Happy days. That is a KV-1. Hellcat! Shit or stick on the dick. Get down. Oh my god, we were fucking spared that one. That's the 300 mils as well. Thank Christ for that village. Seriously, that could have been another fucking disaster. get into that position and find that fucking weapon because we just got spared because of the inadequacies of the AI just roll fucking through the house come on quad do me proud like we have to find and neutralize that Katushka Yes, I'm aware that there's probably going to be a tank staring at us. Fuck that thing. What the fuck? Oh, God! I know exactly what that is. And trust me, you don't want to have that thing. He's gone. Good shit, good shit. Keep backing up. Fuck you, Ivan. Not today, bitch. Fucking Schaffschützer. That's a T-70, but that's a T-34. 43. Right, artillery. If you want to roll up. Looks like he's been taken care of. Good shit, good shit. Let's, uh... Prov let's provide a finale. God fucking damn it, I can't get rid of this sod. Yeah! Right. Move into position. That was a fucking lucky break, though. Like, seriously, that Katushka firing early could have caught... If that Katushka had fired when maybe a little bit further down the battle, when there wasn't as many vehicles blocking shit, oh my fucking Christ. That would have been an absolute disaster. 
and it still can be a disaster because we don't know what the enemy is bringing to the field. What I can say though is the the stratagem for bringing two forms of uh, the the stratagem for bringing two forms of anti-air or two air anti-air vehicles in on the flanks, really good idea, really good idea, and I'm honest to God relieved that I didn't have to worry. Yeah, I'm relieved about that. What's the situation? Right, reload. Right, we've got enemy VIX available. And we've got... Kind of hope that the reload of these things will be done faster. Hello, Mr. T-34. Come on. Come on. Beauty! Loaded. Oi. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now. Ah, fuck. That's a heavy. KG1 1942. That's artillery. Somewhere around here. Oh, fuck a duck, Katushkas. Run. Thy fuck away. Get back into cover. Nice. Whatever the fuck you did. spot wherever the fuck that artillery is firing from. It's 234-1943. He still stay back. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fire. Really fucking wish you were more accurate. That's the KV. Well, that's the same KV one. No, you target the fucking KV, you stupid mung. KV one, nineteen forty two. Under glaciers. Gotcha. Target over towards here. Ah, good, we won. Right, still in the middle of a battle though. Just saying. <laughs> That's artillery of a terrifying sort. Not too long before he's reloaded. Where the fuck is that wanker firing from? He must be firing from like here-ish. Wait, hang on. Alright, that's another two. Bingo, there's the son of a bitch. Right on the money, bitch!
Like 240 millimeters worth of fuck you is beautiful right now. Right. Yeah, there's a fucking... There's either two artillery pieces or there's something else available. I'm not sure what. Uh, dude, you kind of want to probably take care of that tank. Just saying. Eyes on. Right. Tanks about to cook off. That's a Right, where's their artillery? Watch out for that artillery. Is that gun unoccupied? Nope. There's that gun. Enemy destroyed. Fuck you. Takes it coming. Where he's gone. Go, let's go. Where's that Katushka's? That's my question. Fuck you. Okay. Targets destroyed. Oop. Oh dear God. Why aren't you? Right. There's another gun somewhere. And I think I know where. Or at least I think I... No, actually I don't. Right. Half tracks. I'm going to try something new. It's called the... If it's a half track, it's not as expensive. Right. M3 half tracks will go in. They have machine guns. They have the, the ability. And also, the AI tends to have a an idea of if enemies are about or not. So, trust what the AI says. It might save your life. Enemy artillery! <laughs> That's why. Ah! Turret active! Target! Heavy, 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 heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. Make sure that fucker can't get in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the fucking size of that crater. Ah, damn. Right. So, yeah, we had a few terrifying moments. I'm not going to lie. We were blessed in this battle. Seriously, two factors. First, I think the strongest moment of you lucky son of a bitch has to be from here. The fact that that thing, which is the 132 millimeter rockets, which not, you know, not pleasant. The fact that they've also decided to deploy these in really spastic ways is a blessing. We've also got 122 millimeters, which we're focusing on the AI surrounding us. But that right there, that's terrifying. Multiple versions of that. 300 millimeters worth of rockets. And the thing is, it's it's quite small. Like, you, did, you noticed how little it was before the whole thing. Yeah, no, that's terrifying. Right. Right, in terms of capturing stuff, ah... Uh... Not really fast. I think we're in a good position to end finishing. I, I think we're finally at a point now where I can finish the battle and kind of relax. I think we took a moderate amount of casualties. Uh, well, to be fair, if I'd looked at the bloody battle results, that would have probably been fine. But 
I think we took a rather reasonable amount of casualties. No tanks were lost, thank Christ. AI defenders did take a hell of a punching, though. But, with all due respect, that's kind of what they're there for. Uh, so we've been able to gain uh, 1,234 and 11.02, only 41. Okay, so yeah, we did lose a couple of dudes here and there. I think mostly due to snipers. But everyone else, thank the Emperor, was spared, which is a nice change of pace. So, we have now got the ability to do some... You know what I fancy doing? Prob uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, we need air support. Like, we need to, we need the call-ins. So, we're going to go for this location, which is in Kimberley Airfield, which is fair enough. Wait, I think I know this place. And we are most definitely taking the, the Little Davids. Yes, they take a while to build, but I'd rather take the Little Davids than... Uh, Right, that's 87. Is there a place I can use this? Oh, yes. There we go. Let's add the second one. There's the Jeep. There's the Jeep. Fantastic. Yeah, no, the Little Davids can... Uh, <laughs> little David can definitely be built for this one. Holy shit. That was terrifying. Uh, but good. But more importantly, we should research more units. Because, well, we, we probably should. So... I think we need to research heavy tanks, because otherwise we're going to be struggling. So then we can finally do the heavy tank route. Woo! Or the Firefly. You know what? Firefly. Not a bad shout. And then we just need to save some of these points so we can get the M6 and then the M62 and then eventually go through the Jumbo, then that, yeah. So question, how much is the Firefly? Because technically speaking... That's the best version. Oh. Okay. I can swap my EZ-8 for a Firefly. I will take that for a packet of chips. Feuerfrei. The best version. Now, don't get me wrong. The EZ-8 is a damn good tank and definitely deserves a lot of praise. But at the same time, Firefly. And no, no element of being British is, is biasing my particular thoughts in this place. I, I am telling you now, sir, this is not at all a potential prejudice against your vehicle. It's just, well, it's not a firefly. I detected the lack of a firefly in that Sherman, and I thought, you know what, let's make it the best version of the Sherman. <laughs> I mean, come on, 17-pounder. And also a best-looking version of the Sherman. Just saying. I mean, come on. All those treads. That's the drip. And the extra large boombox in the back there. Come on. We knew we sucked when it comes to making our own tanks. But when it comes to uh, complementing other nations' tanks, we did good. We did damn good. With the possible exception of the grant. I will grant you that. Ha <laughs> ha. Very funny. Um, but still, I, I will grant you that. Actually, I don't know if the grant was so much uh, a British invention. Because obviously the grant would be under Ulysses S. Grant, is my understanding of that. So technically speaking, it's an American vehicle, which means technically speaking, we still rock the roost when it comes to um, complementing tank designs. <laughs> Can you feel the copium coming through me right now? It's really soothing my presence. Uh, anyway, I think... Yes, I think I know what this map is like, which hopefully means the defensive points are going to be less annoying. Or at least that's what I hope. Anyway, I'll see you in the field. We return. So, we are in on the field of battle. And we are making ready for what hopefully will be a pretty pleasant look at... Pleasant, uh... Orders, sir. There you go. Orders, sir. I'm going to roll the artillery into position. So, we're going to use the, the little David... And we're going to plonk him probably, I want to say about here-ish, so we can both get this location and this location. So we can minimize uh, the... <laughs> it, we can do what... We can apply the American doctrine of big bullet, big gun, big... Uh, no equals no problem. I mean, hell, that's why I spawned in the artillery pieces in. Right, so... With his jeep... Oh, look at that butte. 
Feuerfrei. Ein Feuerfrei. <lacht> bang, bang. Du, 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 du. Bang, bang. Du, 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 du. Feuerfrei. <lacht> yes, I realize I'm doing it wrong. Shut up. Right. We'll focus on taking... Uh, well, I'll focus on moving arms and artillery towards the left flank, and then I'm going to prepare for it. Well, I'll establish a defensive position around here whilst we... Well... Right. Oh, beautiful. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to whenever Ostfront introduces the British faction, or the Commonwealth faction, into... Huh. <laughs> okay, intriguing. Uh, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to when, um, sorry, just tiny amount of him in the front line. There's already someone's taken ammo. GG. Uh, but anyway, so as I was saying, when they introduce the British faction, because they will be introducing the British faction, I mean, if you haven't, like, in the teasers that have been coming into the game, you can't really be surprised. Probably shouldn't make this a front line thing. You can't really be surprised to see that... Well, we are, I'm not going to be surprised to see the British faction being uh, announced officially because, well, the teasers and everything. I mean, maybe the first one, the first teaser with the piano in the in the field of, uh, well, in the Café de Normandie, that one. Yeah, okay, that's going to be a bit of a, it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek, but that's more of an American thing, which we've already got the Americans. But then we had uh, Arnhem Bridge, so that, with the, with the um, SS Panzer Division trying to cross over the bridge. So I'm like, yeah, no, that's, that's Market Garden, which means, yeah, no, we, we, we're having the Commonwealth forces, which I'm very happy about. Because we don't only do we get, and I say Commonwealth because I'm not saying Britain, I'm saying Commonwealth as in... The Canadians, the Indians, the Anzacs, you know, New Zealanders, Australians, all those guys. Could you put an end in? Thank you. We're probably going to have some friends now that we've done that, but nothing really we can do. Right, artillery. Oh, mother of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't give it in. Yep, fuck you. 17 pounder. Meet T34. That's a TD. You got enemy tanks here. Nice. Wait, did I knock out the SC-76 whilst also taking out the T-34? <laughs> Just a superior tank gun. Da 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 da. <laughs> Wouldn't dare to say this was somehow influenced by my position as a British subject of the good old blighty of old England. <laughs> okay, turns out there's still a contact. Priest, could you do me a? Would you kindly fill that area full of lead and make the bastards wipe, cry in terror at the mere thought of fighting against the U.S. As in, pew pew, boom boom. Thank you. Right, let's get some of these Tina. Let, well, but let's get the um, 90 mils in position, shall we? Right, infantry. Okay, tank crew. Well. Alright. 
Motherfucking trees. That's one of the more irritating things about artillery in this game. If the tree wants to stop your artillery, there is nothing you can do. Your tree will be... Your, the tree will stop your artillery. Right, if you want to start fixing the hull, that'd be great. If you want to start digging some foxhole... Alright, what have we got? Hey, Lieutenant. Hoya Einstein, Feuer frei. Ready to go, sir. Alright, the M3 making his way across there. We're ready. 105, feel free to move over to that location. Good shit. Right, little Davids. If you'd like to roll into position. Kind of wish you could get on the... I kind of wish you could hop on the back of this thing. Like Aye, what sir. that guy is doing. But rather than it being incapable of being used, you could actually use it in combat. Like, that would be the most fucking dope scene I'd seen yet. Right, fire over there. 19 mil, move into position and help watch the flanks. Right, one of you, hop out. Right, effectively... Right, effectively, we want to put little David hmm. It's a little too angled, apparently. Oh, nice. We can take another deep trench. Right. If you want to build up another deep... Oh, nicely done. Done, artillery. Good shit. Right. You want to do something? Have you been shooting? Because you've been reloading for quite some time, so I'm assuming you're shooting something. Or have you only just... Yeah, you've only just reloaded. Fuck's sake. Okay. Um, pop a shot if you can against this position. Uh, I like the disper... Oh, I really like those... Oh, the dispersion! ho <laughs> ho! You still fucking miss. Still fucking miss. Right. Make your way across towards there. Right. When I build you... Like, I do want to build you, like, somewhere here-ish. So it is quite... It is quite particular. Yes, sir. I'm wondering if I could knock down that tree. It would. It might. I'm wondering if that might influence the decision making capacity of the game. You know, it's a shame that we don't have an option... Okay, to be fair, if there was one option I would say that definitely needs to be a thing, is the AI needs... Well, the game needs to allow... Oh, you want to target that? The game needs to allow the... Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. There we go. We just need to clear the trees. Oh, hang on. Right. Yes, that is that is where I want to go. Yes, that is where we go. Right, cool. Infantry. You want to do some cool shit? Right, cool. So now we're dealing with that. To be fair, we're probably going... This is more like... Yeah, the way this is looking, it's going to be mostly on... It's going to nuke some shit here. But it's really about blowing shit up over here. 
It's not as well defended, this location. I'll grant you. But at the same time, it's still something. Right, quad, I want you to deploy towards here. And I want you to fry anything that doesn't look like an American. Oh, speaking of which, I probably should attach some... Uh, want to start shooting? Oh! <laughs> right on the money. That was beautiful. That was fucking beautiful. Do that, please. Do that more, please. Please, do more of that. Right, Sherman 105, or M105. I'm going to call in the reinforcements. Get a... Where is that? The command team. Yeah, so the command team, get the fuck out. Your Sherman, your your half-track actually has a job we need people to do, rather than the lazy bastards at command. Yeah, but soon command, you can bugger off. Well, you know, you can, you can man the defensive position here. But we got a job for these guys to do. Right, 1944 boys, get ready to go. What did you do, you stupid fucking... Right, move forwards. Retarded... Sorry, my retarded ammunition truck decided it wanted... What the fuck are you doing? Half track if you swear into it, I swear to God. I'm going to just not let this thing be driven. Y you two just stay off the road. I'm going to put you here. Awaiting order, sir. Right. Sorry, but anyone that retarded can't be in my army. Good fucking job, guys. Seriously? I am happy. Right. Infantry. Right. If you want to roll into position. Have you reloaded? Yes, you have. I do apologize for the inconvenience of the... Uh, Yeah, I do apologize for the inconvenience of the, the, uh... Right. This is a very good fucking dispersion. That works! Right. Firefly, if you'd like to help. Oh, that's a tank! That's a... Okay, that barely quantifies as a tank, but okay, it's still a tank. And fire! <laughs> right on his gun as well! <laughs> Good shit. Right, you want to disembark the crew? That's hilarious. No, Though, no wonder. That thing went smack right onto the gun as well. That's brilliant. Right. Firefly! You shall support the infantry elements as they attempt to push into the area. Yes, Fortunately, the, the Sherman took some damage. Keep shooting, Sherman. Well, keep shooting. Right. Move into position and start your assault. One of you. Yes, sir. Mm. For good measure. Right. Good shit, good shit. 90 mil gun does that. Oh shit, I forgot to keep building. Yeah, keep building. Right, Sherman. That's a okay. It's a Lee. Are 
you dead? Dude. Garnier, get the fuck out of there. You took a fucking tank shell and... Okay. George Garnier. Uh, I think... I think his name in real life, like the actual le the legendary Garnier from the from Able Company, sorry, Able Easy Company, was also named as George Garnier. So it's not surprising. getting more accurate which is wonderful so if you can get accuracy oh my god this thing's amazing right infantry move up now ah, you might as well go gone here Artillery. Well, Einstein. Infantry. How are you diddling? You're almost complete with your construction. Fantastic. Right. Oh. Good spot, whoever did that. Okay, infantry move to the left. Just, just humor me. Oh, would you look at that? A Russian died. Any orders, sir? Right, move up. Ready, sir. You move around. We must take this compound for the glory of the Ready United order. States of America. And whoever was in here has definitely paid the sins for being a communist fucker. No, who said you should stop shooting? Something big's coming. Ready to roll, sir. Ready, sir. 90 mil. Oh, hey, command staff. Do you want to know? have a proper job? I'll let you hop into that gun. That's the TD. Facing front towards enemy. <laughs> Fucking hell, that thing's cooking up. <laughs> God damn. Right, ammunition truck. I'm going to have you pop over to here because I think we're going to be firing more than one round. Right. Mr. 914 millimeters worth of fuck off. Could you do me the kindness in blurring up whoever the fuck is remaining in this cesspit of a defensive position? Fire free! <laughs> Danke! It's never going to get old. <laughs> Look, big gun! It's the most American thing you could possibly imagine. And that's a problem? Right. Right, Mr. Garnier, could you be so kind as to build up some... Def <laughs> Gone here. To get the fuck to cover. That's a KV-1S, and that's a that's a deep gun. Yeah! Oh fuck a duck with everything on it. That's a KV-220. That's like a fucking super armor mega fucker. 
That's the shit from World of Tanks days. Good shooting. That's a KV-1S. Yeah, that's... Right, he's fucked. And the KV-220 is also fucked. Good. A good to see. Right, okay. Sorry, Mr. Garnier. Oh, no, it's Joe Garnier. That's the name. Of, that's the legendary name, not George Garnier. Okay, well... There we go. Right, if you take cover, hold position... If you want to... <laughs> I wonder if the enemy has taken damage. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, yes, I can see what the problem is. Ah, uh, you know what? I can also see what the problem is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm looking at the other... I'm looking over there and I'm like, you know what? Let's just risk the fucking T... Actually, no, let's not risk the T-92. I don't want to risk the T-92. So the T-92 can take cover. Oh, yes. Truck can't move, can it? Right. I'm going to give you, Mr. Witty's Jeep Gunner, a promotion. It's called Don't Fuck This Up or you'll end up like your two buddies over there who have now turned into spaghetti bolognese. Contact. Okay, Mr. HV, fucking GG. I mean, I neutralized its gun, but that's about it. Okay, cool shit. Nice. Yeah, I'm sensing a dick. Alright. Mortar's getting ready to go, but I'm also sensing an enemy vehicle over there. Here it is. T-34. Watch as that thing turns to a Swiss cheese. Right through the... Right through the gunner's point. Nice. 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 Right. Good shit. Good shit. Okay. I think we could probably start the push. Oh, good. Well, if you boys want to take cover in there, you take cover in here. And we can probably start relaxing. I mean, to be fair, we'll probably bring the M3 half track and other dudes up, considering Ivan is bringing the, the heat a little bit. Ah, oh, good. You Speaking of literally having. Fucking GG with the Firefly. Dude, the 105s are making their fucking revenge today. That's for damn sure. Right. So, wait for it. Aim for the center mass. It's probably going to be a bit of a dispersion. Fire! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's never getting old. Also, Nani the fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he, he kind of fucked badly. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Um, that's actually a problem. That's actually a pretty big problem when you think about it. Pull that back. That's actually quite a potent enemy vehicle. and neutralize this fucker route. He's fucked. Good shit. Right. 105 and Sherman. Uh, 105 and... Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. English words, not my forte. 90 mil and a 105 should be able to de be enough, but I got a Firefly in the background on standby. 
Oh shit. Hold, 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 hold. Where the fuck are the minefields? Did we walk into one is more the problem. Because the thing is, we can actually go quite far into a minefield and then not trigger it. Alright. Where are the mines? Because norm Okay, so we were advancing up towards here. There's another bloody... Uh well, not exactly what I was anticipating, but sure. What the fuck, 105? Seriously? You're in the background and you're landing these shots like nobody's business. You must have been the brothers of all the people who... Of all the 105s we lost in battle. Because you're seriously f not taking any prisoners with this one. Seriously. MVP of the match right here. Whoever's in command of this shit... Y Mark Martin. Leonard Spears. Rodney Wood. Jeffrey Collins. James... <laughs> Mark Martin, James James. <laughs> I love the randomization of this game. We've got MMNJJ. <laughs> right, anyway. I can't see any fucking minefield signs. But we must be approaching them. Unless... It's either we've spotted it in the distance. Oh, shit. Yeah, get the fuck in. 105s. You got a job. Get the fuck in cover. Go, 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 go. Keep spread, keep spread, keep spread. <laughs> Nicely done, Muppets. Go, 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 go. Yeah, sure, let's do a drive-by. Shit. Drive! No! Fuck! Hold position. Fucking Ivan with their fucking guns. They just took down one of the best fucking M105 crews we had. They were nailing shots left, right, and center. You fucking pricks. M3 half-track. Suicide yourselves killing that thing. Fuck that damn gun up. Get off that thing.
Come on. Come on. Shoot. Fuck you. Get to cover. Tank, are you really struggling to hit a fucking val Valentine? Come on. What you fucking deserve, you pieces of shit. Yeah, I'm not giving you any mercy. Fuck you. <sighs> shit. Okay. Right, start moving across. Try and find that minefield. I can't find the sodding minefield. really fucking sucks. Go, Just sir. push. We'll find the minefield the old-fashioned way. Right, little David. Feuer frei. Nice. Right. I'm ready. Good shit. Ready to roll, sir. I'm bummed out by that. Really am bummed out by that. They were like the fucking kings. And the assholes just had to be fucking... They'd have to deploy the fucking 85mm gun. Just has to be there. Have to be another fucking 85mm gun. Right, grab the fucking satchel charge. Right. Ready to go, sir. So yeah, a bit of a waste of time because I was kind of... Yes, I'm not seeing any obvious signs of things, so... Right, Armored Vic, where are you? Or well, half track with whatever we need. There we go. Nice. Ready to go, sir. Always ready. Yeah, if you guys want to get in the Vic. And then we'll pull the things back a bit. Any order, sir? Right. You take the satchel charge. I don't see any obvious, like, minefields and shit, so... Always ready. Yes, sir. Stay low. Aye, sir. This isn't petty at all, by the way. Fuck you, 85 piece of shit. Right on it, sir. Right. 
Right. Any orders, sir? Hop over to there. Watch out for that artillery. That's a fucking big gun. Get back. Get the fuck back. Right. One more shot from the little David, and then we'll be good to go. Right, move over towards here. Not what I'd call the best location to throw smoke, I'll be honest with you, Ivan. You should have thought of that when you threw the fucking smoke, you dipshit. Right, perfect. One more barrage. Over to the left this time. And fire! And... Right. Ah, oh, good. Well, we were able to take care of the majority of the defenders. That's a fucking artillery piece. What the fuck were you think? Oh. Didn't notice until too late that I had a retarded crew. Well, that was fucking atrocious. I mean, sure, 122 millimeters worth of gun, obviously gonna be a bit of a case, but the crew could have been a little, fu the gun could have been a little bit fucking faster firing. Well, sorry, could have been a little bit faster fucking traversing. Yes, right, sir. let's get going before more shit goes wrong. Right, we look at big Russian counter push on the side there. We're reloading. Get into position and double time it. Yeah, I think the lesson of this battle is don't do anything fancy. As in, don't fuck around with armor beyond the supportive lines or whatever. Just, as soon as you fire artillery, fucking nuke it. Because it just gives them more of an opportunity to do shit like...
the fuck? How are you sucking so fucking much? Not that fucking hard, is it? Right. Okay, on that one, the AI was fucking being retarded in terms of shooting. Seriously. Right, well, the battle could have gone better, no doubt about that. Doesn't help that the AI decides it wants to not target the important parts of things. Come on, come on. Enemy down. Jesus Christ, okay. this point i'm just going to wrap the battle up because again we're just doing fine so yes we lost about 24 dudes not what i would call good especially since a good number of those dudes were part of the yeah since the dudes since one of the dudes well one of the groups of dudes we lost was the paul sherman that was actually nailing the fucking shots and had the best fucking names james james and martin uh, mark martin Fuck you, game, is what I'll say to that. Fucking puts an 85 mil gun in the middle of fucking things. Of course it does. <sighs> anyway, aside of that, we were successful in the conquering of that territory. So, I will wrap up today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, hints, tips, and tricks are always... Welcome, though constructive feedback, because I know there's probably going to be people here that just say, oh, this is just painful to watch. It's like, yes, I can appreciate that there are some bad moments where a mistake is made, but just saying it's bad doesn't really add anything to it. All right, so that's a 99 out of there. So, HV1SS. I mean, so far, everything seems to be decent with those guys, so that's fine. The Little David brothers seem to be okay for that. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. And then we'll be seeing you guys in the next defensive position. Though we haven't got much long to go, do we? No, not quite. So, I'll catch up with you guys next time. This is Mr. Jaeger, signing out.